Is Ascent Solar Technologies Inc. stock a buy? Ascent Solar closed the session of the 2nd of March 2021 at $0.0505. And um, you definitely must have heard if you're in this stock or you've been trying to follow it that um, it's now on board with uh, NASA and it's uh, with its product. So before we go ahead and uh, just, you know, briefly look at what 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 happened or the news about that we, you know uh, we have to indicate that we have a position in Ascent solar and um, it has a market cap of uh, 914.2 million dollars 18.103 billion shares are outstanding outstanding so um let's go ahead and you see it says nasa according to investor place and obviously i mean this is not um it's uh, all this news was carried around by um, a lot of uh, platforms and outlets. Uh, NASA's on board with uh, ASTI stock. Um, As Ascent announced they had been selected by NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center to participate in two flight demonstrations. These, these demonstrations include a lightweight integrated solar array and antenna uh, projects, as well as the Solar Cruiser Solar Sail project. Indeed, investors have, have cheered this announcement. This validation of the company's portfolio of PV products is encouraging. Photovoltaic technologies, Ascent, Ascent produces are uh, integral to high performing power generation and communications for small spacecraft. Additionally, these technologies ha um, help solve uh, power limit limitation of uh, today's smaller satellites. According to the company, they have uh, received significant commercial, scientific and explore exploratory interests. Okay, so it appears there's potential for Ascent to benefit from, NAS, from, from future NASA missions to the moon and Mars. Well, the company has been undertaking demand has been undertaking demanded and an elongated uh, simulation test to gain approval. Accordingly, investors waiting patiently for this announcement have been generously rewarded today. Indeed, the fact that Ascent ha now has a very large potential customer for its technology is encouraging. Okay, Ascent's market capitalization just re reached one billion dollars. Okay, and it's now slightly below that. And indeed, this is likely to remain a moonshot investment uh, right now for many investors. However, the company is moving in the right direction. Investors appear to believe Accent is making the steps necessary to become an integral supply in the space race. Given the rise in private investment we've seen in uh, space exploration of late, this is a medium to long term play on a sector with interesting growth potential and then the author thinks uh, investors eager to jump aboard on space race that has uh, become more competitive should give ASTI stock a look this announcement is meaningful and could pave the way for some pretty impressive growth in the years to come if the company can execute Okay, so we will include the link for you to read up on your own. And you, you, you may have uh, already read it up yourself. You can easily find that uh, on um, Google, but in any case, we're still going to include it. And uh, we can see technically it uh, seems it has, um, it has, um, I think it has, um, okay, not really. I think um, it looks like it, it, it is it is corrected, but let's go down and see what it says technically here. And we have all sorts of news concerning Ascent, including the one we just uh, read out now. Um, ASTI appears to be corrected, no, no doubt of that, yes, about that. It's correcting within a longer term bullish trend, although its MACD is presently below the signal line. Shares remain 705.3% above an upward slope in 200 day trend line good let's have a look okay obviously we can see the um, MACD this blue line is below the orange one that's the signal line and moving upwards we can see that uh, it is corrected no doubt about that and longer term bullish uh, longer term 200 day upward sloping 200 day trend line that's this one so it is uh, no doubt about that correcting 
and uh, before we go ahead we can also see that um, what we can see here is that the the um, those uh, the momentum is improving and the 14 the 14 period slope stochastic oscillator is improving but um, we'll go ahead and see what it is uh, going to say what's what this um, uh, readout uh, is going to say it says um, momentum for STR is strongly bullish okay yeah the 14 period the stochastic oscillator is rising as investors pay higher price prices for shares okay the unbalanced volume indicator shows that longer term accumulation has given way to near term selling pressure by traders okay that's the uh, unbalanced volume indicator okay it, it's still still very much um uh, relatively still very much bullish as well but okay it has it has lost some um, some um some steam of late so um yeah moving on we can what we just looked at right now is a daily chart so we'll just go ahead and look at um, um we can go ahead and look at um, this is the mini chart this is just right where it stopped this is where everything ended um when's the session ended this is how the session ended okay so we can see that uh, we have uh, been able to create a, um, a channel sort of we 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 are able to draw a channel a channel obviously and then um, that is from um, I would say um, from around uh, 15:05 uh, um, yesterday the second uh, of uh, March so. We can see this uh, parallel uh, channel. Within it, we have the um, correcting and uh, bearish uh, um, price line for a sensor. So, um, for a greater part of that last hour, it was just uh, uh, just very much bearish and uh, pulling back, and um, you know. So we, we we actually we actually drew another trend line um, from this high of um, from this peak of uh, five dollars sorry zero point zero five four eight dollars and then zero point zero zero point zero five two dollars we just uh, plotted a um, it line to coincide with uh, this its closing price and it turned out to be that it's obviously narrowing so that um, um, the bearish uh, trend it's uh, you know it just it continued to uh, trace um, low lows and um, but at the same time also um, narrowing in, indicating that um, at some point it might um, uh, break out it might, it might, it might uh, um, put a stop to that but in any case we can't exactly conclude because um, the session just ended so um, ASTI ended on a bearish note um, who knows what could you what could be involved you know the um, uh, the bears uh, um, um, won the case won the fight in the last uh, in the dying hours of uh, the last session we can also see that momentum is uh, was also almost completely gone at uh, two. You know, you can see we can see the curve; it's just completely dipped, and um, we don't um, we didn't see so much as such. You know, maybe um, 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 shots uh, um, or rather bears have uh, just been able to jump on the stock and try to mess it up a bit more, like uh, they've uh, done a lot of all the all the other stocks, and you know. So we can see that the um, short, incre short interest increased by 266%. You can see that. So the current position of it is 299.8, uh, 299.8, But you know, that is nothing compared to its uh, shares outstanding, which stands at uh, 18.103 billion shares. But in any case, though, this is all. You have to be careful that. Um, Sometimes uh, some of these shares outstanding are not, are not exactly all the shares that are available in the market. You can imagine that um, each share to um, have shares um, um, 
um, disclosed or registered with the SEC, it costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. So um, some of these small companies, I don't see them uh, spending huge sums um, trying to. Um, indeed, indeed, indeed. You know, if the the more the the the, the, the you know, it's a factor of how much they can raise. But I, I you know at the same time, and I see some of these uh, shares outstanding. I uh, definitely, you know, they're not exactly all that is available for um for people to uh, buy in the market you know so but um we just have to be careful so um in any case though it says that that short interest will take about um okay roughly it's not up to a not even up to a tenth of a day uh, to uh, to close up so um well a sdi closed on a um on a bearish note and uh, we can see that um Yes, we can see that it is also still, even though it is correct and still trading at a premium to its uh, short-term trend lines. But if you want to ignore, if you want to ignore all of those uh, bearish uh, um, notes, bearish trends, and all that stuff, and just focus on the fundamentals, the fact that you know this company is, you know, it is, it has a business, it is developing uh, products, and its product has been uh, validated as uh, being. Uh, potent as being uh, um, um, valuable as being capable of uh, uh, being a, 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 a component or you know associated with uh, um, 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 uh, what is it called uh, NASA's uh, spacecraft and satellites. So you know the company is the future is bright. So if you want to focus on the fundamentals and. And jump in right now that it's still uh, trading at uh, only five cents, roughly six cents. So by all means, do so. You know we have a position there, and um, we can. There's a good chance that we may continue to increase our position there. So easily, easily, I would say uh, based on the fundamentals, yes, ASTI is a buy. Okay. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, helping us. Uh, increase our subscriber count. Thank you very much.